Well, the time has come. Those of you that have been familiar with my channel know that I'm a huge fan of the C70 Passport by Honda. People will call it a scooter, but it's not actually a scooter. It is a motorcycle because it has gears and a clutch and it has a, the large tires and a step-through design. So today I decided to give myself a little upgrade. This is a 1982 Honda Passport C70. This is a 2019 C125 Super Cup. Basically this is the modern version of this motorcycle. I wanted to do a quick comparison of the two and just talk about the differences between the two and what the new Super Cub does better than the old 1982 and a couple of things that the 1982 C70 does better than the Super Cub. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stick around. The C70 Passport is a 70cc air-cooled four-stroke motorcycle with a three-speed automatic clutch gearbox. The C125 Super Cub is a 125cc air-cooled engine and it has a four-speed automatic clutch gearbox. The C70 Passport is carbureted. The C125 Cub is fuel injected. As would be expected from a motorcycle that is about 40 years newer, the C125 Super Cub has a lot of upgraded features um, in addition to the fuel injection. Uh, all the lights are LED. It has a telescopic uh, front fork, disc brakes, anti-lock brakes. It comes with a keyless ignition. It has an alarm system built in, a digital gauge, and I'm sure a bunch of other features that I'm not thinking of right now. One drawback, one drawback on this new motorcycle is that they in the US they only come in a single seat variety. Now, in Europe and Japan, they make a buddy seat that attaches to the rear rack. But as you can see, the, the standoffs where the rear, the passenger foot pegs would attach to, they're just plugs. They're blank. There's no holes there. You wouldn't be able to bolt anything into this without drilling and tapping it. On the other hand, the C70 does not use LEDs. It does not have a digital readout. I had already mentioned it does not is not fuel injected. It has the spring cantilever style front forks. It uses drum brakes, no anti-lock brakes. It does seat two people. You have to be very familiar with that person because it's a tight fit. And it does have passenger foot pegs. One thing I still love about these old vintage Hondas is that it doesn't matter how old it is or even what condition it's in, if you know what you're doing, you can almost always get them up and running even if they've been locked up. Now, to, to a certain degree, obviously. I'll be a little bit more cautious about when I tear into this one. I'm going to try to do as much preventative maintenance as I can so I don't have to. And we'll see how much I can get out of it. But this one's only got 400 miles on it. I think I've got a ways to go with it before I need to do anything major to it. This old lady here, she's got 9,975 miles. It's still going strong. I have two of these 1982 Hondas, if, uh, as you know, if you watch the channel. 
This one is the, it's in better shape, it's in much better condition, it runs smoother, um, they both go about the same speed as far as the, the, the 1982 models. I guess that's a huge difference between these two. Since this one's a 125, the top speed on this guy is 65 miles an hour. On the 70, the top speed is 40 miles an hour. I can get more than 40, but I mean, consistently I get 40 miles an hour on a flat road. I just wanted to make a short video. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, partially bragging about my new toy, but also um, just about, I wanted to talk a little bit about how there's a lot of heritage from these old machines built into these new machines, especially in the styling, obviously. But I was pretty amazed at how similar these two are. They have the same wheelbase, pretty much the same design. Uh, the C125 does sit quite a bit higher than the C70, but besides that, um, you can definitely see the inspiration for the C125 in the C70 Passport. If you have any questions about either one of these motorcycles, please leave them down in the comment section below. I love talking about my vintage Hondas. I love talking about my new Hondas. If you want to me, if you have any questions about the C125 and you want me to test some things or look at something, I'll be happy to do it. But that's going to do it for now. I want to thank everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.